So, you're applying for a job on Crossover. Awesome. In a moment, you'll hear from the hiring manager, but first, here's what you need to know. There are eight billion people in the world, give or take. So that means whether you're talking about marathon running, software coding, or cupcake decorating, the top 1% most talented at that scale is always a pool of 80 million people. Companies hire with Crossover because we've spent years fine-tuning a process to find and recruit only people from that pool. Whatever the role needs, we hire only the top 1% most talented at it, matching rock stars with their dream jobs, if you will. We specialize in 100% remote, full-time jobs that people from anywhere in the world can apply for. Well, maybe not Antarctica. Wi-Fi is too slow. Anyway, working with Crossover enables our clients to staff their workforce exclusively with stars. They set the pay upfront based on the value the role brings to the company and agree to pay that amount to the best person or people for the job, no matter who they are or where they live. So are you the right rock star for this opening? Let's hear from someone who knows best. Hi, my name is Felipe. I'm a finance VP here at Trilogy. I'm originally from Brazil, but I'm based in Russia at the moment. Uh, today, I'm gonna talk to you about this position you're applying for. This is a finance role at Trilogy. We look after more than 100 businesses that we own. What I love about Trilogy is the way we are obsessed with quality, the way we put quality over everything. We cut all the bureaucracy, we cut all the red tape, and we focus on what's really important. Anything that we try to achieve, it's quality over everything else. The finance manager role is really important for us because you'll be coaching the finance team. You will not have to worry about the boring parts of management. We have automated that for you. The perfect candidate for this role is someone who already has some management experience working in international teams, working uh, with people all over the world, and making sure that they focus on quality, making sure that they understand feedback, that they can take feedback, and that they can improve out of that. So if you love working with other people, making sure you get the best out of them, making sure they grow, this role would be perfect for you. And if that sounds like you, here's what you need to know to apply in Crossover. So if that sounds like you, this could be your chance to put the cubicle life behind you. Here are the steps. First up, you'll answer a couple of simple questions, which will save you time if this role isn't the right match. Then, you'll take an assessment that measures your problem-solving skills. We find this is a much fairer and more accurate way to filter a large candidate pool than traditional recruitment, where great candidates can get dropped for pointless reasons like where they went to school. If your score makes the grade for the position you're after, you'll progress to step three, where you prove some of the skills the job requires. Most roles will check English fluency, and some also measure specialist skills, like coding. Most of these are quite fast, so if you ace them, you'll be invited to complete a more in-depth assessment that's been specially crafted to road test some of the real work responsibilities of the role. And then comes the best part, the interview stage. This is actually lower stakes at Crossover because by now we already know you've got what it takes to do the job. So it's really your chance to have a conversation with your potential boss and the two of you can decide if it's a good fit. And that's it. It may sound like a lot, but the timing can be flexible to suit your schedule, and the whole process typically only takes a week from application to job offer. So we hope you'll give it a shot and show us you've got what it takes.